Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nation people, the traditional owners of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. Yes, my limit is four videos a day, so I'll look at the Southern Cross hopefully tomorrow. I uh, really uh, enjoy the alternate reading, so I do want to get at least one out a week, if not two. Uh, very quickly, um, I'm going to have a look. At, I'm using my Light Sears Tarot, which is my family and friends card. Interesting subject. All I've literally written down is Penny Wong calls for two state solution. Uh, Australia can go where other larger democracies can't. So what's happened is our foreign minister, Penny Wong, absolutely fabulous, fabulous female figure. Um, love it. We have some really powerful foreign female foreign ministers. Julie Bishop was the same. Uh, then uh, Julie Bishop uh, was basically shafted in the back in regards to the Morrison government. Uh, we had a few dark years uh, in our foreign ministers, but then Penny Wong uh, with our Labor government has stepped up and she is just an amazing figure. So, um, yeah, standing defiantly behind the information, the message she's put forward and the message is powerful. It is about a two-state solution. Uh, so Australia has come out uh, politically and said, and it's said with love, it's sent with intent, it's sent with compassion and it's sent, said with two-state solution for what is going on in Israel and Gaza. Often what happens, Australia can come out and say these things because we are a smaller democracy. Uh, New Zealand is very similar as well, although with their current government at the moment, they tend to sort of uh, be a bit more conservative. Um, and what happens is often we will lead the way uh, in bringing about change. Australia punches above its weight constantly in sports, in politics, uh, in uh, in technology, in science and research, etc. Really, we punch above our weight and um, can be, if we pull our finger out, be world leaders. But it's more, uh, we are the point, often we are the point, we're on point uh, leading the way so that bigger democracies can come in behind us. So, go Australia. Let's have a look. Now, there's been backlash against that, uh, against her statement, only uh, because it's putting us out there, but go for it. So, let's have a look. Will other democracies, now we're talking the US, we're talking the UK, we're talking the EU, will other democracies Follow the lead of the Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong. Will other, because what's happening at the moment, and I do know that negotiations are going on, the other big democracies that have been in regards to the ceasefire negotiations haven't come out and actually said this is the solution. They're sort of skirting around it. So let's have a look. Will other democracies follow? the example set by Penny Wong. Um, okay, it's causing them to look at things differently because it's been out there, it's been stated. They're now looking at, uh, at uh, they're looking differently. They've, they've been hung up, very comfortable position that they've been hung up. They've They've sort of skirted around, they've been paused, they've been stopped, but the light has now been shone. So they're, they're looking at this differently. The second signifier here is an emotional coming together, an emotional uh, end of cycle. A lot of emotions, but it is bringing about an end of the emotional side of the cycle is what I'm getting here. An end of the emotional side, a move into perhaps the practical. We'll see what comes out. So I'm really hopeful here. I hope it's not just me <laughs> bringing my bias forward, but I am hopeful here. So what we've got, um, 
the energies behind the scenes, uh, the movement out into uh, the celebration, the freedom, the free air, getting out of this this entrapped entrapment tent here with the mess the messaging that will try and drag back. So this is energies behind the scenes. Basically has put it out there. I'm going to say has put it out there. Has stepped out of this 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 dark negotiation tent and has put the message out there. Second signifier card. Yep. Emotionally mature diplomat, negotiator, bringing forward a, a sense of calm, a sense of, uh, so basically bringing an end to the emotional cycle of it and bringing forward ne calm negotiation diplomacy. So, and, and if you ever listen to Penny Wong, boy, oh boy, does she really sound incredibly, even when she's you can tell she's bristling. Uh, she always sounds incredibly calm. She is very, very knowledgeable and she's a very apt uh, dip negotiator. So I, I can't praise her enough really in her role as foreign minister. Yeah, uh, the Hierophant, it's been put out there. It's now time to decide about what future you want to bring about various governments stepping into their power and taking the steps to bring it about. There is no express elevator. It's not a happen overnight. There are steps that need to be taken. But yes, what is it? What future? It's put it being put out there. What future do they want and bring it about? And another 10 as well, uh, a, a, a uh, legacy. What legacy do they want to bring going forward? And it's all about the children. It's about the children. It's about the next generation. It is about the inheritance. It is the ending of a cycle to bring about a new cycle. Two tens, love it. Two tens, two major arcana, powerful reading so far. Yeah, it is time to let go of the baggage and move forward. It is time to bring about another ten. It is time to bring about an ending of the skirting around, the uh, messaging that is failing it's time to bring about an end. Now, Hamas have said they do not have the hostages, and I totally believe them because at the end of the day, they've been forced into a situation where people are literally starving to death. Do you think they're going to feed the, host the hostages over their own children? It, they're not. They're not. As horrific as it is, we have to look at this honestly with our eyes wide open. But these are three tens, end of cycle, message being brought forward out into the light, stepping into the, into the power of their authority and taking the steps to bring it about, diplomatic negotiations, logically calm and mature. These are big energies. It is about the moon card. It is about bringing the emotions to the surface, shining the light on the emotional side of it so that it can be seen for what it truly is. And once it is, so once the emotions are seen for what they truly are, they can be let go. So this is moving beyond the emotion of this situation and what have we got one two three all four tens end of cycle let the truth go let it out so that they can step over into a new beginning this is big this is real new beginning this is huge energy that penny wong is starting oh my goodness this is like crying with um, 
uh, pride that she, it is Australia stepping up to this, that it is a woman stepping up and stating the obvious uh, and bringing this about. End of chapter, new chapter. Absolutely. Bringing the emotion, it, bringing the emotions to the surface so that they can be seen, acknowledged and let go. And then we move on to the truth and honesty and next chapter, Queen of Pentacles. This is Penny Wong herself bringing forth a powerful energy of nurturing and healing and protection and security and safety, compassion, empathy and a new opportunity. Pentacles are not only about healing and money, they are about opportunities. And then the skilled work to bring it about starts. There are a number of options to be considered, to be looked at. Now, that will bring an emotional joy and freedom. So I am just going to, yep, and then we've got the chariot card. This is about just doing it. And working out how the bloody hell you're going to do it as you're going along. Start the process. Start the process. There's a decision that needs to be made. Listen to the feminine energy. Listen to your instincts. Draw on the power of the universe. There are secrets behind the scenes that will be exposed. There is a darkness here, and I've talked about Netanyahu many times. Expose the darkness and draw on the light of the feminine to plant the seeds going forward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I'm just going to say uh, that yes, uh, she's put it out there. She's put it out there. I do feel that other democracy leaders will follow suit because it's out there. I'm going to leave it like that. I was going to uh, expand on the reading, but I'm being told to just leave it there. So thank you for joining me. Watch this space. Um, really looking forward to uh, other, it, it, basically because she said the silent part, uh, other uh, democracy leaders can now say it as well. Okay, looking forward to um, this process happening uh, in, in spite of the heavy, heavy energies. Love to you all. Take care.